what's up today we talk about the reflex lab 800t color negative film it's basically vision 3 5219 motion picture film loaded into a 35 millimeter canister we call that boat loading which is not a novel idea the special thing about this film is that the ramjet layer is removed which will significantly change the performance of this film As some people know, the major difference between movie film and ordinary film is that on the surface of the movie film, there's a carbon coating called ramjet that serves multiple purposes. But this ramjet layer also makes the development process more complicated. It requires the ECN2 process, which a lot of labs cannot do. If any, the price for development would be much more expensive than that of the ordinary film. So removing the ramjet layer would make the development more affordable and easier. It requires the C41 process. That's the first advantage to this film. Secondly, without the ramjet layer, the light sensitivity of the film would increase. The initial ISO of the 5219 film is 500, that's why it is called 500T. But without the ramjet layer, it is advisable to shoot the film at ISO 800, which means you can take pictures at darker places. You can also push the film up to 3200 if you want to do something experimental. Thirdly, when the ramjet disappears, you will get this horation effect that's unique to motion picture film. Horation effect is a halo around the overexposed area of your image, most visible in red light. In fact, one purpose of the ramjet is to prevent horation from happening. So if you remove the ramjet, you also unlock the horation effect which a lot of people think is very beautiful and futuristic. This film is tungsten based, which means it's ideally used indoors with artificial lighting or shooting cityscape at night. If you shoot the film during the day, the tones of the images will look colder than the reality. It's kind of like when you use a digital camera and you adjust the white balance to low color temperature and you take pictures during the day. There are also disadvantages to this film. Most problems come from the canister. The canister is not as robust as the ones made by the big companies like Kodak or Fuji. There's a chance that the first few frames of the film would have light leak. At least this would happen to the first batch. To compensate this loss, there are two bonus exposures. So you can take at least 38 images per row. The second problem is that the DX code is not working. If you want to use this film with your point and shoot camera, which you cannot adjust the ISO, you may put the DX code sticker over this area so your camera will be able to read the ISO info of this film. That's all for today's video. I will share you some more sample images of this film in the near future. So stay tuned. One last thing. They include this key ring. So I can use it to recycle the canister 
after I finish shooting.